hey what's up guys and welcome back to the channel and today i'm going to be giving you part 33 of what if naruto went dark and after this there will be another what if what if naruto was taken by raikage go and check that out guys after you finish watching this it's going to be out like 30 minutes later okay guys so get this one to 300 likes as soon as possible and you get the next part by tomorrow guys comment down below and tell me what you think of this episode remember to share it to all of your friends on your social media platform and enjoy the story so without further ado let's get straight into it play the intro So in the last part, Minato has to resort to send Naruto to save his Genin teams because they were about to face off against the Stone 4 and they realized that Stone 4 was much powerful than them. With Minato having no one to send in the lead village to back them up, he decided to send Naruto by placing a stray jacket on him with lots of seal inside, thinking that if Naruto ever ran off, he wouldn't be able to get out of the seals so Naruto had to come back and be relief out of the seals but Naruto had a plan of his own to get out of the seals so outside of Konoha and you guys can switch across to check out the playlist and watch on part one trust me this is very interesting yeah back to it outside of Konoha Naruto was flying through the forest he could smell blood everywhere he then sensed something and he looked down Naruto then saw Choji with butterfly wings coming from his back as Choji was yelling at someone, Naruto looked down to saw who Choji was yelling at. It was the orange hair fat one who was bodyguard for Orochimaru. Naruto is watching, Choji enhanced his fist and sent his fist pour, pouring chakra inside of it towards Jorobo to end the battle. Choji was just about to end Jorobo but then his fist was caught by a right arm. What? Choji said as his attack was blocked. What is going on? said a weak Jorobo. I am saving you, that is all, said Naruto as he appeared next to Choji and Jorobo. Naruto, what are you doing here? said Choji as he looked on Naruto. Jorobo instantly recognized Naruto as he started to shake remembering what happened. This guy was even powerful enough to take down Lord Orochimaru, Jorobo thought to himself. If he decided to team up with that fat one over there, I will have no chance of winning. Naruto then looked at Choji and said, you ask what I'm doing here. I'm just leaving Konoha, he said, with showing no emotion on his face. So, you're a traitor now, said Choji, as he ready his next attack to attack Naruto. But, faster than either of the boys could see, a red fist was planted inside of Choji's stomach, sending him further back to the wall knocking him out unconscious what are you doing Joruba asked slowly brushing off himself were you not listening said naruto i said i was saving you as he turned towards Jorobo. yeah but why we are enemies Jorobo asked yes but i want to gain allies for my cause in the future i shall explain later but for now sleep said naruto as he scratched Jorobo's arm. Jorobo instantly fell back to the ground as his eyes rolled to the back of his head. That's one, said Naruto, as he then performed a jutsu to send Jorobo's body to wave in a flash. He then stood back up and looked towards the forest. Let's see what type of chaos I can cause before leaving Konoha for good, said Naruto as he then flew in the air. 30 minutes later, the Sasuke Retrieval group was jumping through the trees. Shikamaru, Kiba, Akamaru, Menma and Neji leaped through the trees, closing in on the sound shinobis. Menma saw Neji's face look unnerved 
What is it, Neji? Menma asked. Something is coming from behind us. Something fast, he yelled as he jumped out of the way and landed. Naruto then landed in front of Neji and said, Hey, Neji immediately got into a Taijutsu stance and rushed towards Naruto with his palms and his kicks. But before he could even close in on Naruto, Naruto flew up and kicked him in the chest, blowing him back. Kumara then landed beside Neji as he looked on Naruto. What are you doing here? said Neji. Are you running from Konoha? Did you escape? Wrong, said Naruto. I am your reinforcement. The Hokage did it as anyone else sent, and because he didn't want you all to die. In desperate, he sent me. And we trust you, said Neji. If I was running away, then I would have just killed you all, he said, making them all shiver. But as you can see, I am still in my stray jacket that restrict me from using all of my powers. Neji then start loosening up. All right, Naruto, said Shikamaru. The enemy is up above us. Did you see Choji when you were passing by? Asked a worry Shikamaru for Choji. Yes, but he was still fighting when I show up. With the sound four, Sakan was cursing about Jorobo, thinking that Choji had beaten him. Nope, here he is, said Kidamaru. Jorobo then appeared right beside them, not even a scratch on him. What took you so long? asked Sakan. I'm sorry, I was draining that idiot chakra. I guess time got away from me, said Jorobo. Here you fat ass, we don't have time to fart around. Carry the casket. Be useful for one, said Teowaya. Okay, Jorobo responds. Weirding everyone out, usually he'll be cursing back at her. But he just said okay, like something was wrong. What is wrong, Kidamaru asks. Are you feeling ill? What do you mean, asks Jerobo. It means I'm not handing over the casket to you because you aren't Jerobo, yelled Kidamaru. As he turned toward Jorobo, okay, suck on, Teyawaya, go ahead. Kidamaru then threw the castic over to Teyawaya. I will handle this one, he said, as he caught Jorobo's arms in spider webs. Jorobo was always scolding Teyawaya about her language, but Jorobo didn't just agree with her, he would curse her back, something was wrong said Kidamaru as he was chewing on something in his mouth. I see, said Shikamaru as he relieved his transformation of Jorobo. Spider web net, he yelled and captured Shikamaru in a spider web, pushing him back into a tree. You're all mine, yelled Kidamaru as he went in battle. Back at Konoha, Minato was finished up some paperwork. He felt good today. He didn't know what it was, but he was just in a happy mood. The office door slammed open and Sakura marched her way in. What are you doing here? asked Minato. As he looked at her, to see her face looked very upset. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? She yelled and pointed her finger at Minato. What are you talking about? said a confused Minato. Who sent a team of Jennings after Sasuke and I wasn't told about it? I wasn't told about anything that happened in the past 12 hours. Don't worry about it. I have it under control. I have sent Naruto in as backup. I looked at Amanda very confused look before slapping her large forehead. You really don't know anything about your son, do you? She yelled at him. What are you talking about? Minato yelled back at her. This is Naruto we are talking about. You sent a crazy insane half demon to go and get Sasuke and a team from Konoha full of Jennings. Jennings that he hate. He has broken the seal before. What made this one so special? The stray jacket he have on will block almost complete of his chakra except for a high Jonin's worth so he could complete the mission. That is all he has right now said a perfectly calm Minato. The girl almost scared him for a second but he trusted his seals that he spent days making. So do you think those seals will keep him in check? Asked Sakura. Yes, said Minato. The same boy who killed 55 people when he was just 6. Yes, 
the same boy who break out of the sea last time yes the same boy who easily defeat a biju yes said minato as he answered every question that yes feeling very confident in himself i am telling you said minato it shall work are you sure the same boy who had orochimaru running for the hills twice the same boy who threatened to destroy konoha kill your family and everyone in it for what happened to him when he was a child minato didn't respond the same boy who you just let out of the village to go rescued a bunch of jennings who he hated in a straight jacket do you really think that that will stop him from killing them all oh shit said minato as he just realized that he made it a bad 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 choice the door then bust in as kushina and mito as kushina was holding a boy body in his in her arms what is that said minato as he looked closely to see choji what is wrong with him he yelled out he's almost dead is choji yelled kushina what how how did this happen i don't know but i do know this he was injured by yoke burns did you let naruto out yelled kushina turned his head to sakura but he saw that she was already gone minato then looked out the buildings see sakura jumping on them heading north damn it damn it damn it how could this happen minato yelled to himself back in the forest kiba shikamaru menma and neji has decided to stay back and keep on fighting kidamaru none of them saw the cage bungeing that naruto left to leave behind all right we need to catch up to the sound ninjas we have the advantage in people now so we need to catch up to them all right time to strike back yell menma we need to do it quietly idiot said naruto as he glared at menma yeah sorry he said with a grin as he rubbed the back of his head all right let's go said shikamaru with sakon and teoya hey hold on said teoya as she and sakon stopped on a branch what is it we don't have time for this said sakon they have already caught up with us said teoya as sakon turned around to see menma shikamaru kiba and naruto behind them what are those stupid idiots jirobo and kidamaru doing yell a very angry teoya teoya didn't hear sakon say anything as he looked on him to see him very shaken and disturbed he then pointed as teoya started to focus and saw that it it was N naruto the person who almost killed orochimaru she yelled in fear he is stronger than even lord orochimaru we cannot win she said to herself damn it what are we going to do we can't handle him by yourself said a terrified sakon he knew they could fight him and then with the other leaf ninjas behind him they would be dead in minutes no time to make plans time to fight said kiba as he rushed towards sakon sakon jumped up and met kiba in the middle both of them start fighting while descending back down to the ground naruto noticed a deep canyon was beside them and noticed the two ninjas going back down to the ground he then gained a sick idea and a grin the two ninjas were getting close to the ground but then a strong wind blasted them to the side and right over the mouth of the canyon oh damn said kiba as the both of them fall down into the deep canyon naruto looked at the sight with amusement in his eyes he had to keep a straight face though he couldn't blow his cover until he was farther away from konoha damn it now i'm alone whispered teiwaya as she held on to sasuke coffin she really was scared not of menma and shikamaru but the red-eyed demon who stand against her she remembered the state of injury that he inflicted on orochimaru by himself and it was dreadful how was she going to handle him without her team suddenly a figure landed right beside teoya shocking her that this person got so close without her even noticing she saw the white hair and instantly knew who it was 
Kimimaru, she whispered in relief. The only reason why I haven't killed you yet, because you can still hold off the enemy. Fail to do so and I will kill you myself. He said and took the coffin from her and continued to head off in the same direction. Hey, get back here, yelled Menma as he jumped after Kimimaru. But Teowaya appeared in front of him and punched him in the face, sending him fly back. Focus on the enemy in front of you, she said. She yelled at him. We need to get past her, said Shikamaru. I am going after the white haired boy, said Naruto. Me too, said Menma. Ah, oh, alright, this is a plan. Shikamaru then started to whisper amongst the group. Hey, 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 hurry this up. I got things to do, said Teowaya trying to put on a straight face knowing that she might face Naruto. Alright, let's go, said Shikamaru as he charged towards Teowaya. Teowaya waited for Shikamaru to come to her and she simply caught his punch that was meant to punch her in her midsection. Ah, is this all you got? said Teowaya as she looked at Shikamaru thinking that he's very weak. She then heard him mumble something, shadow position complete. She then looked up to see Menma jumping over her head. She couldn't do anything because she was kind of paralyzed. She looked down to see Shikamaru's shadow holding onto hers. Then she was in pure fear when she saw Naruto appear right beside her as he looked into her eyes when his crimson red. He then lifted up off the ground with his wing as he barely scratched her on the arm. He then whispered to her. Have fun. He then flew off to go and catch Kimimaru. What was that about? said Shikamaru. Naruto was a really weird person. But he then abandoned those thoughts as he saw Tewaya broken through his shadow possession jutsu. The two didn't even notice the two shadow clones that Naruto left behind to do his bidding. As Naruto appeared, he saw that Menma and Kimimaru was already fighting as Menma had made lots of shadow clones and they were all being cut down by a single bone from Kimimaru. A short sword made from the bone in his arms. Once they were all dispelled, Kimimaru looked towards the real Menma. Then there was one, he said. Menma then rushed in head first as he ran straight to Kimimaru trying to kick him. Kimimaru blocked it with his bone. The two kept going until Kimimaru was done playing. He then kicked Menma in the stomach, causing him to drop to his knees as he coughed up some blood. That is all you have. Then you shall lose easily to my strength, said Kimimaru as he watched. Menma struggled to get back to his feet. Shut up. I will find a way to win, said Menma. He was about to continue his assault, but then Smoke started to come from the coffin that Sasuke was in. Everyone turned around to look at it, even Naruto on the branch. Everyone watched as purple smoke started to erupt and then it suddenly exploded. When the smoke finally died down, Sasuke was there. His hair was grey but it was turning back to his normal colour. Sasuke turned his face to the group and showed that the left side of his face was covered in cursed mark. A turns. His eye as a split in it and he used a chalk black eye was now yellow. The white part was now a deep black color. About time, muttered Sasuke as he looked at the scene in front of him. What happened here? Sasuke asked with a smirk. Sasuke said Kimimaru, getting his attention. Please go to Lord Orochimaru. Please go to Otto. Orochimaru is waiting for you there. Said Kimimaru, who are you? Sasuke asked. You weren't with the original group. They were all too weak, so I was sent here to make sure you arrive in one piece. Said Kimimaru, I am one of Orochimaru's leading bodyguards. My name is Kimimaru. Everyone was stopped talking when Naruto suddenly appeared next to Sasuke, shocking them all. Welcome back, said Naruto. Naruto? said a shock Sasuke. I thought that you were locked up. I was, but the Hokage sent me here for reinforcements because 
all of these guys are too weak to beat these simple sound ninjas. Well, let's go, said Sasuke as he started to walk the direction of Konoha. Yeah, let's, said Naruto as he started to walk in the opposite way. Naruto, where are you going, asked Sasuke. I am leaving Konoha, he replied. Sasuke was shocked, although he knew this day was coming, he was still shocked. Sasuke just looked at Naruto, while Menma was totally, his mind was being blown. What? What did he just say? What are you talking about Naruto? Am I hearing you right? Naruto didn't respond as he was about to fly off, when something came crashing in the ground. As everyone looked around to see Sakura with fury as a pink aura was around her with her eyes open wide, Naruto made up a quick lie as he pointed at Kimimaru and said that guy said that he was going to kill Sasuke making Sakura's eyes widen even more. Not on my watch, prepare to die she yelled and got into a taijutsu stance. Well that's that said Naruto as he flew out the clearing. Wait, Naruto, yelled Sasuke as he followed Naruto. I am coming too, said Menma as he ran after them. But guys, I'm end this episode right here. If you want to see the rest of this, you know what to do, like, subscribe, comment down below and turn that bell notification stay posted. And yeah, guys, comment down below and tell me what you think of this episode. Share to all of your friends and yeah, stay tuned and prepare for the next what if that's going to be coming up. So for now, I'm out guys. Peace.